All right, uh, I'm in the studio. Uh, yesterday I was uh, busy with uh, making up certificates for clients and uh, talking to a gallery, actually a couple of galleries, and uh, doing a lot of busy work, which kept me out of the studio. But today I'm here, and this is how I, I'm cutting. I'm cutting up my clay right now. Um, this is a partial block of clay. Uh, about half a block, and uh, it was from the last time I cut up clay. But I'm going to need lots of clay today because I'm going to be doing muscles in the legs and some of the massive areas. And I'm going to get this uh, going here. Now, somebody asked me what kind of clay I use. It's if you look in the uh, description of the video below, uh, or be below the video. You'll find all the information about tools and clay, and uh, even I think a couple of videos on those same subjects. Um, and you can buy your clay through those links. Uh, I'm uh, asked all the time what kind of clay I use. I use a medium grade, and uh, if you go on my channel and do a search for, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll just put a link to it. I, I show how I heat up my clay and I made a hot box for it and all that stuff. And I'll put a couple of links uh, here in this video. So get the clay cut up and uh, then I'm going to get to work. All right, I got the pictures from uh, the model shoot and it shows the anatomy of the horse really well. I also have this, which I uh, bought, uh, and I'll, I'll put up a video link here as to where you can uh, get these horses, uh, these horse anatomies. Um, it's really good for uh, uh, people who are sculpting horses. It's not cheap, but uh, well worth uh, the money. I, it's, a, it's a reference material that uh, anybody doing horses uh, should have. Anyway, I'll uh, put that up. Um, this is by the uh, by the artist Jeff Wolf, uh, by the way. Uh, he did a great job on this this horse, and it's got all the tendons, all the uh, connective material, uh, fibers, and muscles, and all that stuff. And it really is uh, worth getting because you can see the shape and the the, sh the size and all that. And you can actually take your uh, anatomical measurements off of the uh, model and transfer it into a uh, uh, armature that you want to make if you want to make one. Get busy here. I'm going to be, it's going to be a short day um, because a bunch of us are getting together to go see a movie tonight uh, in Bozeman and it's going to be a popular movie. It's going to be one that uh, is going to be pretty well filled up so we're all going to uh, try to get there early and go to dinner. So it's just a a bunch of us. If you're wondering, it's the movie 2016. Um, they finally got it here in Bozeman, Montana, and a bunch of us have been interested in seeing it, and, uh, so we're going to go see it tonight. And that's as far as I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I'm going to have to do is move the horse a little close, a little more, maybe about another inch, maybe an inch and a half this way. To the front and bring the legs up because I've got it too close to the edge of the board and I want to have a nice uh, back part of the the uh, base so that uh, he's not falling off the board.
the uh, anatomy uh, model of uh, Jeff Wolf's is a good model. Uh, it shows the muscles in that, but you still need drawings also that show a little more detail as far as the muscles in the uh, back of the leg and stuff like that. Um, this is a good book. Uh, I've, you just have to do a search for the book. I, I, in fact, what I might do is put a link to the book itself in the, the uh, video, below the video here, so that you can get a good uh, uh, book on uh, animal anatomy and stuff like that. See you next week.